since the beginning of this year and also the last year and the all sorts started to demolish and when the people just denied to go out from the houses you can see some pictures how the police acted and how the all sorts is used the force wow. how long how long time did they have uh, before they were forced to go out did they have like a time limit like you have um, one week according to legislation it's one year it's, it's, they should not forget the people one year uh, before, but unfortunately there are many cases when just, uh, they just came at the same day and they demolished the same day. I mean, no chance for the people to take their uh, oh. belongings and the other things from the house. And how, how many people have, have they evacuated from this area? No, it's a different numbers, but as an exact number we know about 4,000 people. 4,000 people. people, it's for sure, but also our investigation still can't mean and maybe the number will increase. But where, where are these 4,000 people now? They're different places. Some of them left the country. I know people who lived around the flag square, around the crystal hall, yeah. by the yeah. way, where you will be uh, preferred. Mm -hmm. Some of them just left the country because they have relatives in Ukraine and Russia. Mm -hmm. Some of them are living in their relatives' houses. Mm -hmm. And some of them just, they have no other uh, I mean, chance to take the money which the authority is giving for them and buy not so good houses in the outside of Papua. And what about their belongings, demolished? Everything Many of demolished? them, yes, unfortunately. Many of them. Some of them could take some belongings, some of them couldn't take at all nothing. Mm -hmm. I know it's uh, different. So this was one year ago? Uh, no, well, for example, you can see here the... But it happened during the year. During this year, for example, two months ago. This in the in March of this year. So and, and well, how did they react when you were there and and, and uh, taking pictures like the this? Authorities, they sometimes use the uh, let's say uh, pressure. They of course they didn't like that when the journalists or activists just took these pictures. But, you know, uh, finally we had a chance to take these pictures yeah. because wow. they cannot uh, you know, interfere so much to the journalists. But do you know what happened uh, to, to this lady afterwards? Uh, yes, now she's living in her relative's house. It's, uh, it's an area of the winter park. I mean, the old sort of says that we will build the winter park here, but now they are saying that we will not build the winter park, we will build just a very big buildings, very tall buildings and okay. business centers. You know, it's wow, wow. And there's no, they don't pay these people any compensation for uh, moving out? Pro any proper compensation. Any, not any proper compensation? No, no proper compensation. And no court decisions. You know, it's a two facts which is completely against our constitution, yeah. our legislation and obligations before the okay. international organization. No court decision and no proper compensation. And this is uh, the owner of this uh, flat and mm -hmm. she just didn't, doesn't want to sell it. Mm -hmm. But you can see how they use the force, unfortunately. Wow. And on the other side we have place of her. Yeah. This is pretty clear. Yes. It's a different part of Baku, it's a quite central part. And unfortunately it's still continuing. Because of your revision they start now. Yeah. But after your revision we will sure that they will start to continue and they will continue to, 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 to demolish houses, 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 to rebuild, rebuild Baku, or rebuild Baku, or rebuild some new uh, constructions on some new buildings. For example, we have now Sultape district, mm. and one journalist who was beaten just uh, one month ago when his 
try to film the demolitions. It's a very concerned area because they really... And this is the police that, that beat people up? Police and security service of the state or the country. Mm -hmm. the people in general when you're out there because you're meeting you're meeting the real people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what is the, the feeling of it no, it's a different feeling. Some of them really accepted very political, and they are saying that we vote for for the president, current president in the 2008. But after this, we will not because he couldn't defend us. Some of them they really think that it's the authorities. I mean, the top authorities uh, doesn't know about it, and that the local authorities are doing it. You know. The feelings, of course, are uh, different, mm. uh, but uh, as a human feelings, of course, there are concerns of what we will do, where we will go, where our, our belongings. Yeah. Many of these houses were the cultural, let's say, buildings, you know, old buildings, the demolition mm -hmm. And they are concerned why the demolition is such kind of cultural buildings. So, so basically, these, these people, they... they they don't have much left, they don't have any money, they don't have anything, they just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Get to, what about their children? The children are the same. I mean, they really met the problems with the school. Yeah. Because, for example, they are living in this area. Yeah. And, of course, their children are going to the schools in this area. That's why it's uh, creating a new problem for them. They don't know if they should stay here or they should go back. Wow. And on this... On this if you want, I can just explain you why the crystal hole there. It was the XL9 floor, it was 9 floor building in front of this one. Wow. And who are these men? Are these men. Some of them neighbors. These these people neighbors. I know these people. So the the neighbors just help her yes, because right. yes, she she started um, to feel very bad. Children and women. We have also videos of them. We have evidence. Uh, this is a flag square, and here is the. Uh, this new crystal hall, and they demolished all this building. Now you can see the road. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you saw yeah, the road. Yeah. How many how many people uh, stay in that Four hundred, more than four hundred people, more than four hundred people only in this building. But around the there were also about fifteen one floor buildings. And if we will include to the amount, uh, to this number, it, sh it will be about more than 600 so, so people. Why do you think this happens? Why do you think he's building, building well, the city? Uh, you know, it's, they are deciding it, I mean, the authorities. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, in our country, if our authorities are deciding, and they are not asking the opinion of the people, they are not asking the opinion of the civil society, and they are doing as they decided, and, and it's very simple. Yeah. And how is the people reacting? Are they afraid to speak their minds? Yeah, many, many of them are afraid, but one good sign is that uh, many of these people apply to the court. Mm -hmm. They apply to? To court. Uh, and Wednesday there will be court hearing, by the way, in, at 11 and at 4. Uh, the court hearing of the inhabitants of the uh, buildings which demolished because of the crystal hall. Mm -hmm. how, how, how big is the chance that they will have, uh, they will get their rights? You know, in Azerbaijan we really don't believe to it because uh, we know how this uh, judicial system is working in the country, but mm -hmm. still they have some chance for the European court, but uh, it will take uh, years, you know, because wow. they should uh, they should apply here first to all courts and then to go to the European court. When they rebuild these homes, if, is it uh, is it too expensive for these people to to 
to, to uh, live Baku there. Baku is a very expensive city. Yes. I think you already know about it. And the houses in the center is very expensive also. But they are receiving the money, not proper money, and that's why they are not able to buy in the center. That's why they should go very outside of Baku mm -hmm. without any good conditions and live there. It's a reality. You know? We can go right now and I can show you where the people are living in their relatives' houses also. They get thrown out from these houses. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Really nice pictures. Mm -hmm.